of this great event. It started off as a pipe dream and it has grown into something very special on the New Zealand sprint car calendar. That front row, oh boy, a couple of heavy hitters here. Jamie Larson, former New Zealand champion and current NZ number three, Matthew Leversage. Second row, Jamie Duff, another former New Zealand champion, Bailey Patterson, first season into the sprint cars, still campaigns the modifieds, looking very, very talented in the sprint cars, that's for sure. Here we go, idling up to the line, green flag's gonna fly. Levisage down low, Larson up high, oh, oh, oh. and we've got problems down here. Yes, yeah, so it was Aussie Socko got a little bit side on, and then it might have been uh, helped there by uh, Matt Honeywell. He came together as well, and uh, yeah, Aussie spun around. It's, Matt it's as Zach we, driving it. Uh, Zach, sorry. Yep. <laughs> Aussie will be watching there. Oh, right, Zach, yeah. And uh, it doesn't look good for poor old Matt Honeywell because he's just done a circle on the grass, on the, the track, and back onto the infield. So he was uh, in contact with. Uh, Aussie there and uh, obviously something's happened. A very frustrating weekend for the 64C. Uh, we know we expect good things out of Matt Honeywell and uh, perhaps just the pressure of racing getting to him right now but uh, Zach Sokol will get a restart. How good was that start uh, just a moment ago? It was the 82 car of Jamie Larson making his way to the lead, but uh, Matthew Levisic almost gave it a big lick going down the back straight, and uh, he felt that uh, left rear bite, and he was going straight <laughs> into Larson, so he had to back out, but uh, certainly these boys are racing for keeps at the moment. Yeah, he's from pretty good stock, isn't he? When, uh, when you look at the family tree for Matthew Levisic, going back to his grandfather, Royce Clive, who was yep. an absolute superstar here in the 60s, uh, with the old Model B4 Ford and then into the Zephyr midget car and so on. And <laughs> the Zephyr. <laughs> the Zephyr. <laughs> and, uh, and his uncle Kevin and his, uh, his gr other grandfather, Peter Levisage in the yep. sprint cars and Brent Levisage. And, oh, boy, there's, uh, there's been a whole lot of them. Yeah, the real lives in the Levisages uh, they're just about a Speedway dynasty in the I own. was going to say, a legacy for sure. And uh, Matthew just still fairly young, uh, just a little over 30, I think. But... Uh, He's uh, certainly been a very professional sprint car driver in that uh, 3NZ very well deserved earlier this season. Yeah, it sure was. Right now, here we go. It's uh, the final of the heat races for tonight. Heat race number four. It's showtime. It's go time. Making no mistake of the start this time. Jamie Larson in that 82 car. Matthew Levisage, he is going to start hustling. Let's see where... Uh, Larson wants to start racing his uh, lines because he is a master of going around the top side. We've lost the Campbell McManaway car to the infield, so it's Jamie Larson leading the way. In second spot, we've got the three NZ of Matthew Levisage. Bailey Patterson in third. Big old battle going on there for fourth and fifth between Jamie Duff. Big wheelie by the Duff man as he puts a hammer down because hard on his tail is Joel Myers Jr. getting right into the thick of the action as well. Caleb born in that 95 car, so it's actually Bourne that is in behind Duff. Myers saw the gap and he's uh, tried to rock it through, couldn't make that one work for him, but you can sense that we're gonna have a ding-dong battle going on between Caleb Bourne and Joel Myers Jr. That's the scrap that's going on. Oh, Myers, big, big slide across the face of this Ascot. Yellow light comes on. Shannara Stronix gone around. That was starting to get curly. Ho, ho, ho. Well, the American uh, uh, mounting a very high speed challenge on Caleb Bourne, and he just about got it done. But of course, Shannara Stronic uh, brings on the yellow light, so uh, those positions will go back to where they were. Uh, didn't quite see what happened down there, Warwick, but uh, Shannara's obviously turned around in uh, the corner that you commentate in. Yeah, no, she just uh, just uh, lost it there and just spun herself around. No, no one involved. Nothing. Uh, nothing there at all. The track just down on uh, about about half a car length off the, the pole line where most of this running is going. It's just starting to lay down a little bit of rubber. So the, the grip coming out of there has just started to change a little. Yeah, the good guys will be able to utilize that. 
once it starts taking a bit of rubber, they're still going to be able to just reset their cars up and change their lines and so on. But I'm sensing, Warwick, that that top side is going to be the, uh, the thrill ride for tonight's feature race. Well, we can really feel the uh, uh, urgency of Joel Myers Jr., can't we? He's really trying to work over uh, Caleb Bourne. And uh, I'm not sure that Caleb's got any answer for the Flying American. And uh, let's just see how his restart goes. But uh, good to see uh, Shannara Stronach getting a restart there and tags on to the end of the field. Yeah, Caleb Bourne, a, a good opportunity for him to really test himself here. Bailey Patterson running some good laps in that Patterson Brothers tyre service number five. Hard to believe it's his first season in sprint car oh, racing I and he's, know. he's done less than a handful of meetings. Oh, he's, uh, he's talented, this kid. He's mixing it up with the very best sprint car drivers in the country at the moment and uh, finds himself on the inside there in uh, grid number three. Here we go, six laps to go. Green flag flies, Larson. He was the pace setter. Big run round the top by Duff. Jamie Duff moves into second spot. That shuffles Levisage back. The Duff man on the prowl. So up high, we've got Larson. Jamie Duff in second, Levisage in third. Myers has got his way up into fourth from Bailey Patterson. What a battle going in front. Duff man goes right around the top. Jamie Duff. The local hero, he leads the way. Final heat race action. The Megan Turbo Pro Crete 19 car is on a mission. Larson's got no answer for him. So it's Duff, Larson, Levisage, and Joel Myers Jr. That's the top four. Oh, Larson struck a problem and ground to a halt. The car just slowed very quickly as they went down through the prison bend. Oh, that could have been nasty with the heavy traffic following. What a move by the Duff man. Oh, absolutely. Jamie Duff, take a bow, mate. You're absolutely pulling out all the strings tonight and uh, made a beautiful pass to get past the ex-NZ champion of Jamie Larson. What a great move that was. But those that are watching Joel Myers Jr., he was doing exactly the same from uh, position six, and he's made his way up to position three right now. So uh, certainly the exciting part of the uh, evening uh, starting to take place and uh, that outside groove starting to come in, AJ, and it's there for the bravest of all sprint cars. Oh, yeah, and Matthew Levis at yo-yoing between second and third spot. Oh, boy, that, uh, that car just stopped. It, uh... Yes, he came round that uh, prison bend, AJ, and uh, got past, just past that uh, where the yellow light is and it just it just stopped and he just went as high and as tight to the fence as he could because of the traffic following yeah. behind yeah no, that's a smart operator isn't it right let's push the reset button we're under yellow how good is it to see the duff man with his mojo back uh, just such a fiercely competitive racer and he is racing now, isn't he? He was just trying to hold on uh, through the early parts of the seasons with so many mechanical errors, but that car looks uh, fast and racy tonight. Yep. Right, four laps to go. Joel Myers Jr., he's the first to make the big move. Shuffles his way up into third spot. Behind our race leader, Jamie Duff. Matthew Levisage hanging on to second. Myers just pitching the car down, holding it low. Bailey Patterson, he's going to come back and have a crack at the American. Patterson gets right up onto the tail, loses a little bit of momentum. He is not being overawed by the occasion one little bit. The Duff man packing the bags and leaving them. Boy, he is flying first class tonight, the Duff man. Here's a big move by Myers. Where did that come from? Levisage and Myers are going wheel to wheel. Oh, here we go. There was contact. Contact between Myers and Levisage. Yes, and Matt's gone into the wall, the wheel rolling down the track there, the front. Uh front axle or something's broken in two. Yeah, the front axle snapped. Snapped, yep, and uh, yep, uh, 
poor old uh, Matt's on his side there. Yeah, yeah, just a bit of a contact as they were fighting to get the best line for the turn. And, uh, yep. That's what's happened. They're just uh, checking on there now. It's quite hard up against the, up the wall. So, so um, trying to, to lift it round to tip it uh, so we can tip it over. Yeah, it looked like it was right rear to left front contact from this vantage point. Levis had just knocked off his line. The front axle appeared to break before he got into the wall. Yeah, well, if Matt's out of, out of the car, he's, he's standing there. He's, uh, he's bitterly disappointed. But, um, yep. Yeah, he was digging deep and uh, putting in a whale of a drive. Yep, so the yeah, yeah, young man's not, uh, not that happy about that as uh, you would expect. Well, I tell you what, uh, Rua Puna, that is sprint car racing at its absolute best. And we just seen it, Joel Myers Jr. trying to put a move on. Matthew Levisage, good to see Matthew out of the car. And there was two young drivers not wanting to give one inch. It really was a racing incident. I'm sure everyone's got their own opinions, but I got a good cop of that one. And uh, it was Myers trying to come in on Levisage. He wasn't moving, so both of them were playing chicken. And uh, what a uh, devastating result that was for Matthew Levisage. I'm sure there's going to be some damage on the Myers car. He took a very heavy knock, and uh, who knows what's going to happen to him in the next few laps, but he's very racy tonight also, AJ, and these Americans have come to play for keeps. Yeah, they have. Uh, one of the things I'm watching as, as they circulate is for that potential of rear-end damage on the Myers car, and just under slow speed, he's going around there, and everything looks pretty well set, so uh, he yep. may have dodged a, a bullet and that one, you just see him just moving around slightly, uh, give the car a little bit of a shake around down the back straight. Yeah. Bailey Patterson, what a run by him. Now look who's in fourth, it's Zach Sockhole. <laughs> Zach was right at the back there at one stage, so uh, good to see a bit of perseverance playing off for the Aucklander and uh, starting to get, get some good results. But Jamie Duff, folks, he's our local hero. He's winning the uh, heat race here, and he's going particularly well. He's going to have to withstand the... Uh, the drive of Joel Myers Jr. behind him, and uh, who knows how that's going to play out, but uh, Jamie Duff certainly has a lot of wisdom on side and uh, plenty of years of racing around Ruapuna Speedway. Yeah, he knows the place like the back of his hand, doesn't he? The Sasquatch sitting there in fifth spot, that's Caleb Bourne, Sean Ashton, and behind him then we've got Oscar Harcourt and Shannara Stronach in the 21 T car. Boy, what a sad sight. It's always a sad sight to see any competitor's car being hauled off the track. But uh, when it's someone like Matthew Levisage who was bringing a lot to this event, real disappointment there for Matthew and his team. Just looking at uh, Matthew in the uh, infield there, he's a pretty cool, calm, collected sort of a guy, but I can see him eyeballing that Myers car right now, thinking, what the hell just happened? So uh, I'm sure there's going to be things said later in the pits. I'm sure Speedway and Z have got their opinion on it, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get both those guys out racing a little later on. So uh, we're going to rack and stack them again, boys, and it uh, looks like uh, Joel Myers Jr. is going to take on Jamie Duff. Yeah, just a couple of laps to run. The green-white checker in this, the final heat race action. Tonight's 21st. Sprint Car Gold Cup presented by Avon Insurance. Um, obviously some uh, deliberations going on across the airwaves, which is why the yellow light continues flashing. Uh, one of the things, Speedway New Zealand officials are, are up in the, uh, the tower there, right at the entrance. They would have got a square on view of that. To a large extent, potentially just a, a big old real estate scrap. They were both going for the same bit of dirt. Well, I'll tell you what, Ruapuna, let's see if we can get Jamie Duff home in this heat race here. We talked about it before. He's got to contend with this uh, fiery uh, American driver. And let's see what's going to happen in the next few moments. Here we go. Couple of laps to go. Green flag flies. It's the Duff man. Zach Socko makes a big move. He's up into third. Shuffles Patterson back into fourth. Patterson's now got Caleb Bourne breathing down his neck. 
chequered flag goes. It's the Duff man from Joel Myers Jr., Zachary Sockhole in third and fourth, Bailey Patterson, Caleb Bourne in fifth, and Sean Ashton in sixth position. Well, there you go, Royal Perna. Jamie Duff showed them who's uh, the champion around here, and it's the 19C Procrete Magan Turbo Sprint Car that showed Joel Myers Jr. how to do a quick couple of laps. Uh, Jamie Duff, 13.46, his quickest uh, lap time, followed closely by uh, Joel Myers Jr. And Zach Sokol, well done for your perseverance, mate. You managed to make your way up to third position in a very tightly fought heat race here at Ruapuna Speedway. Take the whole lap, no.